Checking crankshaft thrust or end play is a critical step in building your engine. Hi everyone, Brian from Summit Racing here. And in this installment of Engine Building 101, we're gonna show you how to check the crankshaft thrust during your engine build. Transmissions can create a tremendous amount of forward force on the cranks, especially in high performance applications. Too much end play from these forces can lead to damage and the need to tear down the engine. It's really important to do your due diligence during assembly, so we're gonna walk you through the process. Now there's a, a couple different ways to do it. Some people like to use a, uh, a magnetic base indicator. The problem with that is, with the arm on it, you'll, you'll get a little bit of flex and a little bit of movement. It just doesn't feel as repeatable. The handy bridge indicator, which we use in a variety of ways, is great. It's solid, it's magnetic, it just goes right to the back of the cap. Uh, we can zero it out. And at this point, I'll show you a little bit about how we are going to uh, rotate the engine over. I'm gonna go ahead and put a counterweight exactly where I need to be so I can basically pry fore and aft on this to get the movement I need. We have our magnetic base indicator. Uh, however, we don't have it zeroed out. One thing to be careful of is there are uh, bolt holes on the back of the crank flange and so you wanna make sure uh, that you are between a period uh, between those two bolt holes so that it doesn't fall inside and mess up your measurements. So with that, you also need to find a place on the crankshaft uh, to pry back and forth to just see what that, that lateral movement is going to be. When you do that, go ahead and pull the indicator forward and you can spin the crank to a place where you're happy. Double check the bolt holes on the back. And now at this point, we're able to go through and we can go ahead and pull it back a little bit and zero our indicator. And now we're going to go ahead and pry forward a little bit the opposite direction. And you can see we've only got about two thousandths and eight tenths worth of thrust. That's just not enough for what we're trying to do here. So we're looking for somewhere between, you know, say five thousandths to seven thousandths and two tenths is the, the range we're looking for. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and disassemble our uh, uh, the main caps. We're going to take the main caps off. We're going to go ahead and pull the crank out. We're going to go ahead and take the thrust bearing out, and we're going to go ahead and polish the thrust bearing down to give us a little bit more back and forth, uh, more thrust. Be sure to like and subscribe to get more of our how-to, technical, and installation videos. Thank you for watching.